Hello everyone, my name is Albert and welcome back to our 180 Studios video and in this video I'm going to show you how to render in HD or in higher definition or how to render properly in AMD. So just before start, we start, make sure you save your animation because AMD sometimes likes to crash for whatever reason and you can lose your whole progress or well Whatever you've done and you did not save. So yeah, save before start. Anyway, so let's begin. Resolution. What is it? In simple terms, it is how clear your video looks. I would say you should set your resolution to something very common like or the most common resolution. Pick from one of the most common resolutions. 720p, 1080p, 1440p, etc. In the description down below i will leave this link right here where you can see the recommended resolution and aspect ratios for youtube 720p it's starting to get faded out but if done properly still looks good 1080p it's more and more mainstream if not the mainstream 1440p 2k and so on and so forth but warning the bigger the resolution the more your computer will struggle. Also, don't use some strange resolution like 768p or 1024p as YouTube doesn't play well with those. I remember when I was uploading 768p videos and well YouTube was crushing them down to 720p and they ended up not looking good, like they looked very muddy. Take it like this, the higher the resolution, the more clear your video will look. But also make sure that you do not strain your computer too much. So yeah, pick a resolution that suits your computer the best. I use 720p just because I don't really have a great computer and I cannot see seven, something more than 720p. Anyway, let's say that for example, we have a 480p image on the screen right now. Hello. Thank you. So, this image right here you see is 480p. Why is it so small? Well, because the screen or the video you're watching right now is 720p and the image is 480p, so it's going to be smaller. If you take that image and zoom it in, for example, zoom it in to fit the screen, well, you see that it does not look well. And same thing goes for 360p. Take the image, you see it on your screen. You zoom in to fit the screen and well it doesn't look well why is that happening well that is because it is a small resolution and this is what you youtube will do if well if you watch a, a low <laughs> if you watch a low resolution video on a bigger screen this is what happens well uh, or well this is what youtube does in those kind of scenarios so yeah take that into consideration now that you saw what 480p and well 360p <laughs> looks like when you stretch them out to look decent or well when you stretch them out because you have to stretch them out make sure you choose something still decent today like i said 720p looks decent even today if done properly 1080p very good 1440p, great, even better. 2K, you are already in the league there. So, next up, frame rate. Let's go back to MD. Okay, frame rate. So, before that, I forgot to mention view, screen size, and this is where you set your resolution. Okay, with that out of the way, frame rate. What is it? In simple terms, it is how smooth your video is. To, well, see how different frame rates look like, again, I'll leave a link down in the description below. That would take you to this video right here. Make sure you watch it on your computer. Make sure you set your quality to the highest of, or, well, at least to your screen resolution in YouTube. Hopefully you know how to do that. But basically, this right here shows how different frame rates look like. 
This ball right here is rendered at 15 FPS. This right here at 30, 60, and 120. But you won't see a difference between 60 and 120 just because YouTube doesn't support 120. This is why 60 FPS, it's the absolute max you can go. Most of the times there is no reason whatsoever to render something at higher than 60 FPS because most streaming services do not support 60 FPS. So 60 is absolute max. Also, 60 FPS is a lot more resource intensive. So again, you need to have a good computer for 60 FPS. Also, make sure you have enough space on your hard drive. That's because rendering in AMD, well, takes up a lot of space. Just because AMD uses an old format that, well, takes up a lot of space. Anyway, let's get to the next thing. Okay, so this time you can actually hit render. How do you do that? File, render to AVI file, find the place for your animation, I also give the name. And right here is the window which, at which you can set your frame rate and your compressor. Now, compressors, simple terms, is the overall quality of the animation, colors, and the image quality. I would say you should use a proper compressor. Right here, this one, AVI RAW, it's pretty bad. Try to avoid it. Gives out big file sizes. And MJPEG, it's decent if you don't want to install anything else. But if you want to get something better, I talked about two great alternatives to the compressors that I already mentioned in a separate video, FFD, Show, and UT Video. I will leave a link down in the description below for that. So, this is a good compressor. If, like I said, if you don't want to download anything else and just stick with the ones you already have, MJ, MJPEG, it's probably already on your computer. So, just for this, I'm going to use MJPEG and, well, after you reset your frame rate, your resolution, and you've picked out a good compressor, well, what do you do? You click OK and just let it render. I'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, so that thing rendered, and it's our animation. Let's play it back. And well, this is it. This is how you actually render in AMD. Not all that complicated, is it? So, what did you learn today? Frame rate, resolution, and compressors. Like I said, for compressors, you want to use something decent that gives out decent file sizes. Also, yeah, like I said, you can check out the other video I made explaining the differences, advantages, and disadvantages of FFD Show and UT Video. But if you want to stay a bit more basic and just go for some settings I recommend, here are a few. 1080p, 30fps, and UT video. I would also use those if I could actually see 1080p, but for now I render at 720p, 30fps, and with UT video. But if your computer allows it, 1080p, 30fps, UT video, it's a great baseline it's a great start or something so yeah with all that out of the way i really hope i helped you <laughs> you, you don't really know how much this video actually took to make just because i kept on mumbling about like just like i'm doing right now but if i helped you give me a like if you want to see more subscribe just because there's something big coming that's all i'm gonna tell you there's something big coming so yeah, that was Albert from OED Studios. Thanks for watching.